All right, this is it. Um, first YouTube video for my channel, my personal channel. Um, uh, my name's Matthew. I am a qualified electrician in New Zealand, Wellington. Um, I've always been pretty entrepreneurial. So this is, I left my job about uh, maybe two months ago um, and I finally got gone fully into um, yeah, starting this business. Um, I think a lot of people these days are trying to document their journey online and it's interesting and there's so many people doing it. It's a big, massively saturated um, space for content. Um, I think a lot of these people are um, focusing on a lot of online, um, online means to make money, agencies, things like that. Those things have just never interested me. I'm an electrician by trade. Um, yeah, I was right into got right into the apprenticeship right after school. If anyone, if, for all the Americans and people out there who aren't in New Zealand, apprenticeship is a a four year degree to get to get um, competent at that skill, whether it's carpentry or electrical or plumbing or whatnot. So I finished my apprenticeship when I was around twenty one. I'm twenty four now, and um, I always knew I was going to start a business, and the goal is to to grow a nationwide brick and mortar business and. Um, I've decided to sell solar panels. So um, I've imported three pallets of panels. The website's in, um, in development now. And uh, in terms of marketing, I was always on the side of um, you know people like Russell Brunson when it comes to the whole debate about direct response marketing compared to branding. But I realized recently just being able to provide so much value every single piece of content, how is that not better than just posting a paid ad and trying to get someone to download a lead magnet. You know, you're literally providing value every single time you post. I don't see how that isn't far more beneficial to your customer than just some sort of lead magnet. So this channel is an, is an attempt for me to get better on camera, be myself, because after researching how I'm terrible at social media, let's just say that right now, I don't have an Instagram. I hate taking photos. Um, but after researching it over the past week or week or two, week or two, um, I realized that authenticity is the key. So I'm trying to be myself and I'm feeling so awkward in front of the camera right now, but this is my, um, this is me giving a crack. So yeah, in terms of the business, um, there will be two YouTube channels coming out soon. I'm going to create a YouTube channel just for Sunbear Solar, which is the solar company. Um, and I'm going to have this personal one. The personal one is, mm, why have I got the personal one? Do I want to grow a big personal brand and make money with, um, through affiliates and my own products and guest speaking? No, that's not the goal. The goal is to, to grow a nationwide business, exit it, travel, and then do it all again when I settle down somewhere. That's the goal really. Um, yeah, in terms of why I want to do this channel though, I think, um, I don't know, ever since I left my job, um, I don't know, I was always so driven, but ever since I left the job, I've been kind of, especially the past two weeks, I'm waiting for the website to be, de be developed and I'm waiting for shirts to be branded so I can start marketing within a branded shirt. Um, whether there are excuses for me not getting to work now, I don't know that online you hear all these people talking about how you've got to you know work 12 15 16 hours a day because you're an entrepreneur and um at this point in time i'm struggling to i'm struggling to figure out what i want to do what i should be doing each day um i've just been researching reading and educating really but in terms of actual work and working on the business i can't really do much without a website my social medias are all set up um, and I don't want to make content in an unbranded shirt. I want to be, um, I just want to be professional from the, from the get go and look like an expert on, on solar. So, um, so I thought, you know, fuck it today. I'm going to make this first video, make a personal channel and just throw it out there. And I don't know, maybe I'll do an update every single day, a few times a week, maybe on how the business is going, but. I want it to be from, you see the website get made, you see me doing my first marketing, you see me making my first sale, um, 
hiring my first person, hiring my designer, my project manager, hiring the team of Sparkies, um, electricians, sorry. Um, yeah, start the branch up in Auckland, start the branch up in Christchurch. You know, I, the, the goal is to go nationwide. And I think, um, first of all, solar is a great opportunity. I think it's just going to blow up and it's not really, it's not gone crazy like it has in places like Texas and Arizona and in, in the USA and, and even in Britain. Um, so I think we're at the forefront of the solar revolution, which yeah, I know every company loves to say it. Um, but I think actually when it comes to um, selling a, the product solar in general, um, because it's such a high ticket item, you know, you're looking at systems between 10, 10 to 20, 30, 40 grand if you're installing batteries. Um, and the margins are pretty good, especially I've imported a whole lot of panels from China, so I'm getting everything real cheap. I can compete with the big boys at the moment because I have imported things so cheap. Um, and and the margins are good as it, as it stands, but once I get that team of electricians who are, you know, that in-house team of electricians installing products, margins will go through the roof. So I think, um, and I think because it is just a very sales oriented business, like the overheads do stay relatively low. Like, you know, I th I'm expecting with me as a salesman, a project, a project manager, a designer, and you know maybe the de designer can do a bit of the admin work and things like that in the background. I think I'll be able to scale past a million in revenue relatively quick with such a small team. Um, and then when the Sparkies come on, when the Sparkies come on, things are going to go like through the roof. I, I feel um, it's just all about getting leads. It's all about getting leads at this point in time. Um, so yeah, I'm going to focus solely on creating long form content on YouTube long form videos, educational videos on solar. And then, yeah, you can split it up between all your social medias, but I'm just going to focus. I'm just going to focus on Facebook for this time and become the king of Facebook reels. Like I was um, listening to a lot of Gary Vee recently and he's just saying that the opportunity on Facebook right now is just there's nowhere near as much attention on Facebook. So it's just, where can you get the cheapest, um, the cheapest attention Facebook? And especially with my demographic being 40, probably 40 and onwards, um, 40 year old, years old and onwards, then Facebook is looking like, you know, a really good play at the moment. And YouTube being the second biggest search engine, like it's got a, you know, it just makes sense. Um, how have I started the business? How have I started with? Um, yeah, so like I said, I was working, how, uh, I was working as an electrician same company for the past five, six years. Um, and I was always trying to start something whilst working the job, whilst working as an electrician. And um, it was just so hard with one foot in and one foot out. Like you have, you know, you work an eight hour day and night, like, oh, we worked nine hour days and you come home and you're knackered, especially if you're wiring houses all the time. and electricians you know when you're wiring houses it's a pretty physical job so you come home and you've got to keep grinding and um i just felt like my focus was just all over the place when i was had one foot in and one foot out so six weeks ago i had quite a bit of, um i had about 60 grand worth of cryptocurrency i was in crypto for a long time um i went through the i went through covid lost like the majority of my money went uh, from went from like 50 grand to 20 grand and then at the start of this year, I um, converted it all into crypto gaming coins. Thanks to Alex Becker, if you watch any Alex Becker. Yeah, I two x. I made a two x and a three x on um, yeah a few of these altcoins, and I made sixty grand. So I took it out, imported some panels, um, imported panels, and um, yeah, I spent quite a bit of money on the website just to make it credible, and it looks really it looks really really good. Um, so the website will be in the description once, once it's live. Yeah. So that's, as it st that's where it stands at the moment. I, uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully you'll have an update soon. Hopefully I'll be able to make some money soon because shit is getting tight. Uh, yeah. All right. Peace out.